what is up youtube world this is your boy 85 cuts man i'm really excited to be shooting this video today it's my actual first video since i remodeled the room let me uh show you the room a little bit all right if you don't remember some of my earlier videos this whole room was carpeted so had to you know get rid of that it was a headache man trying to sweep hair up off the carpet floor the vacuum couldn't get it all up anyway next I'm gonna paint the wall man and get a nice logo on there a little TV I'm probably gonna upgrade to a bigger TV <laughs> DVD player you can see I'm kicking it old school VCR and everything it's all good man you know humble beginnings I don't I don't have no shame in it you know got a wider chair this camera's not letting me zoom out sorry so I'm sorry everything is so close anyway you see that wood floor it looks real nice you know it's a little brighter in here got some better lighting you know back out and show you yeah, this, this zoom is no joke I'm all the way out in the hallway it still feels like I'm in the room anyway moving on so I, I just wanted to uh, shoot this video today I told you guys I would uh you know keep you updated on the tools you know on game and everything like that so uh, here we go I have changed a couple of things you know uh, starting lineup if you will is what I think most people are referring it to it nowadays and uh, I'll go ahead and talk about it a little bit so I still got my Andis Excel 2 speed still love it I call this uh, Wolverine right here because uh, as long as you keep a clip clipper blade on it keep a head on it that bad boy is going to cut and cut well. And uh, one thing, I've been talking to a couple people, and one thing I think uh, people are really afraid of is uh, they don't feel like they'll be able to fade and taper with the detachable blades, man. Don't be afraid of the detachable blades. You can. You can get a real nice and a real clean fade with the uh, detachable blades. So uh, don't be afraid of them. It's a really good investment really fast cleans your haircuts up a lot and what do I have here that's my Iron Man right here wall magic clip looks good cuts good that V9000 back up a little bit here still clean I like the way it cuts uh, I'm not one to be like what's better and what's you know great I use it it works well for me it helps helps me uh, cut a little you know it helps me clean up some fades and stuff got my silver surfer here of course and this master improved master with the you know standard blade on it also uh, the magic clip comes with the fade blade I, I still have the fade blade I keep the fade blade uh, just in case you know someone wants to get a real tight fade I keep the standard blade on the on the clipper in case I need to do like a super tight bald fade I keep the fade blade to the side it's real you know two screws so I can get it back on and off really fast so it's no big deal but you know just my in and out cutting I, I prefer the standard blade but uh masters you know if you cut with the masters you already know what it is does this job does it well silver surfer man it's amazing and it's super liner now, I've had some people tell me uh, they've had this clipper before and they didn't like it I don't know you know if they didn't have it adjusted right or I don't I don't I don't know but I love this clipper right here, man. This I call this Spider-Man right here. This bad boy will get it done. Get it done on any any texture hair, man. I, 
I use it on kids, I use it on adults. And man, it doesn't get much crisper than that. Right next to him, Batman. Let's see if I can get in on this. You see that black blade right there? See that black blade? That's the, the Cape Crusader right there. That's that MD Barber blade. MD Barber. Let's see if I can focus in on this bad when this camera is tripping. Anyway, that's that. Uh, GTX and this outliner. And uh, it comes in black. It does have the, have the triple prong cord right there if you can see that uh and i think it just uh produced a little bit more power than the standard outliner 2 or outliner and you can kind of hear it when i turn it on a little bit louder but man i mean sec second to none second to none my only complaint about the outliner the outliner 2 i think it's pretty much a common complaint which is why people venture out to try different trimmers is it, it, it just gets hot it gets hot pretty fast you know even with the MD blade on it but you know what I mean uh, uh, let's see I've been licensed now since May and it's what November so about six months now so I mean I'm getting a little bit faster I, I'm not there yet but uh, you know the more I cut the more comfortable I get I got my outliner too with the square blade on it and uh you know a, a thing i hear a common misconception about the square blade is that you can't do the curves and and you can't get a good curve with the the square blade and uh, let me tell you man that's not that's not true at all not only do I, do i get real sharp corners with that i get real good curves i get around the ear real easy uh it, the shorter because it doesn't have the t-blade and it's not as wide you see a T blade maybe a half inch wide wider, you know, overall, maybe a quarter inch on each side. With that T, with this short shorter blade, I feel like I got more leverage, you know what I mean? I can really control the clip for the way I want to. And let's see what else. Hey, anything else changed? So just picked up a detailer. And this is the one with the wide blade. I've heard so much about the wide blade. I had to go ahead and give it a shot. So I'll come up with a name for it shortly. And see, we'll see what it cuts like first. Uh, well, we'll say about the detailer. And I'm, I'm, I'm really uh, anxious to get a hold of a, a wall hero. I really want to try that out. But uh, what I'll say about the detailer itself is I got one uh, about a month before I graduated barber school. So I've had it for about seven months. And it's starting to act funny. Now, when I when I first got it, it it's man, it's it, it really it really does a really nice lineup. I mean, I can't say anything bad about the Clipper performance wise until uh, until here recently when it start started acting up. And um, I'm I'm hearing that it's not the most durable Clipper, and the Wall Hero supposedly lasts a lot longer. So I'm um, I'm anxious to get a hold of one. Uh, I know Atlanta Barber Supply is supposed to be supplying those TY blades pretty soon, so I can't wait till they start selling those individually. Wall, you need to come on with it, man. Stop tripping. All right, so let's see what else I got at the station. You see my wall guards here. I just got the what they call a half guard through the three guard. Uh, you know, if it goes much higher than the three, I'm probably not going to be using guards at all. So, you know, I just I keep out the the guards that I mainly use. Uh, I gotta say, man, I I don't really like the wall guards. Uh, I'm not crazy about them. They're plastic. They get loose easy. I'm afraid, you know, at any given minute they're gonna break. They don't they don't really give me that sense of security. You know, they the bigger you get, the less teeth they seem to have. You know, and the one, the one, this half guard or the one sixteenth that they supply for you here, it just, I don't know, man, it just doesn't, doesn't get it done for me. All right. And I got my, 
and this magnetic guards hanging up there on the vanity one through four I think let me see no zero one two three four yeah so zero through four and to me you ask me man that those are the best guards on the market right now uh, they just they just work I always feel secure I never feel like my guard is gonna slip off you know ultimately I mean that's just that's the best guard for me now, if they got them to where they could fit the wall clippers too that'd be great but that's not the case right now I got some clipper side olive oil sheen pump it up a little hole you know from super crisp lineups at ma'am cool finish absolutely great product big shout out to Owls Millions I love the cool finish smells great and you I mean you can actually feel a cool or keep a little cruise shave oil or the shave gel something anything uh, I don't have a hot lather machine so anything to get a good lubrication for those razor lineups and shaves you know and this cool care soft style Paul Mitchell it's another another hole spray from from my lineups of course I got my barber side all up in there a clipper brush a couple of brushes one of my straight razors over here I got the black dragon too it's a little concoction I made got some oils in it a little bit of alcohol I know everybody's on the no alcohol kick right now no burn all that good stuff I still I still like a good burn I'm sorry so you know call me old-fashioned whatever it's gonna burn a little African pride you know what I mean a little pomade action you don't really see it out there much but let me tell you man this thing don't smell like perfume or nothing like that but put a little bit in that your in your head man you got them 360s you spinning got a hold for two days got my derby single edge razors hand sanitizer I'm big on sanitation love to keep you know my hands clean a little you know what I'm saying cologne oil that says desire I'm really sorry about this camera man it's not, not letting me zoom out so everything kind of looks blurry so wish I could fix it but be honest I never read this owner's manual so let's get keep it moving got the little proclaim hair grease you know what I mean make sure everybody leaves out of here shiny so you know what I mean that's what I'm working with right now now as uh, any of you who have ever talked to me know I'm, I'm working at two shops right now so also work at another shop uh, in another city a ways away from here I'm gonna start the line up there got my Oster fast feed topaz I have the BGRC I have another masters I have a pivot pro trimmer which is probably the most underrated trimmer out there it's only 30 bucks at, at Sally so I mean if you haven't checked it out go check it out pivot pro trimmer uh, let's see I have a wall detailer and I have a style liner too not really not not super crazy about the style liner too really sharp but really heavy you'll get that vibration fatigue in your arm you know what I mean really fast anyway those are uh, those are the tr clippers and trimmers I'm working with right now uh, let's see what's what's uh, wall hero that's probably the next uh, trimmer I'm gonna be buying and as far as clippers go um, nothing really um, striking my fancy right now maybe the MVP another detachable blade clipper but uh, you know I like this they have five speeds on that I like that so we'll see about that so what I'm about to do today the rest of my day since uh, I pretty much closed up shop already is you can see kind of uh, kind of been letting my hairline go wild if you can if you can see I don't know kind of have like a weak spot in my hairline right here it's not receding it's natural I mean it's been since I was a kid really I mean so I can get a real solid line up on this side but then I have this weak spot here and I don't want to have to push my hairline all the way back here just to make it super crisp 
but I do like that crisp hairline. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to try my first blackout. BJ, whatever it's called. It's the only one I could find locally, so I hate ordering offline because I hate waiting. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to apply this to myself. I have the black brown because my hair isn't, you know, Asian black or Oriental black, and it's not black blue, so I figure it must be black brown. And uh, I don't want my head to look like a helmet. I've seen some blackouts, and they just don't look that nice. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to go ahead, smooth over my head with the mm -hmm, one eighth with the grain. Just make sure I knock off all the wild hairs. I'm going to do a pre lineup and then finish the color. As you can see, I'm knocking it down. Give me a good even canvas never done this process before so bear with me want it nice and smooth as your boy Alex C. Campbell would say smooth following the flow of the hair alright I'm going to have to pause because I'm uh, going to the back and I can't hold the mirror and click alright here we go pre line up I'm about to apply the product I'm running out of recording space so the next thing you will see will be the finished product all right, see you in a minute. All right, YouTube, well, you can see I'm done. You see that weak spot is no longer prevalent, or at least not as prevalent as it was. My hair still feels natural. Uh, looks pretty natural. I'm not, uh, I'm actually uh, pleasantly surprised thought it was going to, you know, look sort of fake or kind of like painted on or something like that, and it's not like that at all, so pretty pleased, um, we'll see how I, I like it in about two weeks when it starts growing out, about to put a little grease in my hair, brush it, roll out, get home, get something to eat, I'm starving. I um, hope you guys found this video helpful. Till next time. Oh yeah, first let me uh, tell you what I did. So after you apply it, you have to dry it. After I dried it, uh, kind of lined it up again. Uh, I never actually pulled out the detailers with the wide blade. Um, just didn't need to. Actually, I'm a little pressed for time. I didn't really feel like pulling out the box and oiling the clippers, making sure it's adjusted properly, all that. I didn't have time to do all that and didn't do it. So uh, I did the first lineup with the with my Spider-Man and my Batman. Then I finished it off with Hawkeye or uh, my outliner too. Uh, and that, you know, pretty much did it. I, it's always hard to find the right angle to hold this so you can see the back. But hopefully you got a glimpse of that. Uh, Go home, get get home, get some rest. Um, till next time, it's 85 cuts. Remember to keep your head up. God bless you. Catch you all next time.